never felt the way I do about anyone but you. If I were to lose you now, I don't know what I might do. What's up? It's Wild Bill with a Night Owl with another video. Today, I will be talking about a piece of equipment that I got during the season that I really need it. So let's get to it. Alright guys, this is the 2020 Toro Super Recycler. Model 21386. For instance, I think it's got a nice solid deck to it. Metal deck. Plus it's rust resistant. It's a 21 inch and it's got the smarts though. You can go as fast as you want. Now you see these things? Now you see this right here? There's another one on the other side. It's, it's a shock absorber. Now see? See how that is? That is for to take some of the bump out of when you're cutting, okay? I don't know, but it seems like they made the gas cap better. It's tighter, you know, because my old one, I would get it caught underneath the bush and it would come right out i'd have to replace it oh i don't know like twice a year it was crazy oh and also you see these little wheels right here and right there that is for the smarts though so when you take these and then there's one on the other side okay and you just lock it in place when you lift up on this let me see if I can do it here It's easier because it just rolls up. It does have the Briggs and Stratton engine. Okay, it's 163 cc. What I think is cool is this. It's not a sticker. It's stamped in there. I mean that is so cool. See. Not a sticker. Now, honestly, it says you don't have to change the oil. Just add some. I'm old school. I'll, I'm, I'm going to change the oil. So you do what you want if you buy this, but uh, yeah, I change the oil. I'm not going to add oil to it and keep adding the oil. This is going to be dirty oil. So, but you, you do what you want. 
The only thing I don't like about it, which I can get used of, is instead of numbers, there's letters. See? See, it goes all the way from A to G. Personally, I'd rather have numbers instead of letters. But there is a chart in your manual that will tell you how many inches. All right. So don't worry, it's in the manual. Now, I gotta say, these wheels, okay. Very, very grippy. Very grippy. Excellent for hills. Going up, going sideways. That's what I need it for. And I'll tell you why I bought it in the first place. It does have a good size gas tank. It really does. Because I can mow a good bit i mean for instance the little yards i can mow at least four of them without changing gas so that's what i like about it too of course you got your air filter here which is kind of getting a little dirty Just comes out like that see and then put it in like that and then put the cover on oh my goodness I can't put a cover on all right what I want to show you is underneath okay before I put it underneath this muffler, okay, the cage, for some reason, this is, it, it won't bend like the other. My other Toro, it bent out. And man, that was a pain in the butt. I guess they made it better. I don't know. I also like how they put the red on each side, each of the wheels. I like that and I like the red on top now they do have all black one but I don't know if that's a newer one the 2021 model or if it's the older one I have no clue but let's check underneath okay you see these you got two of them one and then you got two they're called wedges and you see this this is called a wing when it spins around and the grass clippings what it does for mulching it mulches up the clippings a lot better all right i never seen anything like that in my life but that is awesome so yeah I like that and what I also like is the red guard I guess this is just the guard you know now they don't have one on this side but yeah I like it I really do of course you got your thing for the hose here to clean the deck which Personally, I don't use because I hate that. I'd rather just flip the uh, mower up and clean it that way. I don't have the bag with me, but it's a pretty good sized bag. Because basically, what I do is either I mulch. And I got the chute in there. But, yeah. So where I do that another feature I guess it's the gas shutoff 
It's right. It's right underneath here. See? It locks. I don't know because every time I lock it, it don't start. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't really bag unless I'm doing a leak cleanup, which I will find out this, I guess, fall. Well, actually, it is fall. Dude. It says, let me see. See? Guaranteed to start. Let's try it. Before I start it, I want to show you something. With the other Toro and my Honda, it doesn't do this. It has a shorter, <clears throat> has a shorter line. So don't pull it too hard. Let's see if she starts. I got this as you can see some of it scratched up the deck but hey that's every lawnmower I got this because I needed a mower that was reliable that can handle the hills because I have hills that I'm going sideways like that and just about every mower just yeah, you know, uh, slides. That one? No. Mm -mm, nope. Doesn't slide at all. Now, I've been... The reason why I'm doing this review now is, well, f for one thing, I started back up YouTube, but I'm glad uh, I used it for about, I would say, a good... a little bit more than half of the season. All right? And when I first got it, I was a little worried because I always thought the big tires in the back, the bigger tires in the back, would actually do better for hills. And when I saw that it's the same size tire that's in the front, I think it's 8 inch or something, um, I'm like, oh no, no, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna do, do for me. Everybody was re uh, telling me about the recycler, the super recycler. In fact, uh, Shane from DLT, he told me, Bill, if you want a reliable mower, okay, that does hills, sideways, up, up and down, whatever, get the super recycler, Toro. Because honestly, my old Toro, I'm not a big fan of. The, the red one, if you, uh, you've seen all my other videos, my older videos. And don't get me wrong, it's a good mower, but you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to uh, another video to talk about that. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait. But let's just put it this way. It's, it's not nearly as good as that, the Super Recycler. I was starting to lose uh, interest in Toro. Now, I'm not saying every Toro is the best, but I tell you what, that Super Recycler, that's one of the best mowers that I ever had. In fact, it is the best push mower that I ever had because it, it just doesn't quit, you know, so. So I'm glad I bought it. So, I like the mower. I think I did a good purchase. Uh, it helped me out a lot this summer. And it's gonna help me out again next season. But if you want a good mower, 
that's to me it's it's almost like commercial but like i don't have as many yards as you guys do but yeah i recommend the super recycler that thing is badass i think i have to say inside there is a big big shock it was a shock to me but you will see that on the next video i'm not gonna say this video oh before i go a big shout out to pastor gerald from clean and green lawn service he gave me a hat i like this hat and he sent me one so thank you pastor gerald i really appreciate that go check out his channel he's got great content you'll enjoy him so uh i'm gonna close this one out do something nice for somebody if you like the content subscribe to me put a thumbs up Put a thumbs down. I don't care. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.